Hello everyone and welcome to Demo Reel. Uh, today we've got a lot of fun games for you here. I'm uh, I'm gonna skip this first video because I uh, I actually booted this up earlier. I know it's just a, a commercial, but here we've got um, the same opening from episode one actually with the uh, the Tron bikes racing around. And actually, I think this uh, this demo disc came out probably the month before the one I did in episode one. Because some of the games we played in that episode are actually video previews on this disc. And, uh, uh specifically Spyro the Dragon uh, 3 and Crash Bash. And uh, here our racers are reaching the finish line, so uh, we'll uh, get to play here. Little, little nod here to the PlayStation Magazine, which most of my demo discs are. Last week I played a Pizza Hut one, but not, not this week. So these are the games, or well, starting off with some of the videos, the Spyro Year of the Dragon, uh, Legend of Dragoon, which I've also played on this channel, uh, and Crash Bash. Uh, the games we have are RC Revenge, Team Buddies, which I'm not sure what that is, uh, Busted Groove 2, Muppet Monster Adventure, Sydney 2000, uh, based on the Olympics, which as you probably know in 2000 was held in Sydney, uh, and the Snowcross Championship Racing. Uh, also videos for Raymond 2 The Great Escape and Polaris Snowcross, which that was the commercial that I skipped at the start. But let's go ahead here and get started with our first game, uh, RC Revenge. Now I believe this is a racing game with RC cars? Yeah. Uh, also, uh, I believe it's, it's also known as Revolt 2. Uh, I think... Uh, RC Revenge may just be the, the like the subtitle to the title, but uh, on the on the disc itself, <laughs> it says a claim twice, but once with a lizard. That's weird. Uh, but yeah, the little uh, little remote controlled cars. Uh, I guess this is a sequel to a game called Revolt, which is probably a similar thing. Little <laughs> wavy loading screen there. I uh, don't think we're getting a menu or anything. It looks like it might just be throwing us into the game here. Okay, so, and, and here's the controls again, even though the, the the demo disc itself already had the controls. And I think they're just basic racing controls, by the, just looking at them at a glance. Yeah, this looks very much like a like a Mario Kart type racing game. Um, I don't actually know what the appeal would be. Oh man, they are, are really sensitive. I was about to say, I don't know what the real appeal would be of playing a racing game with RC cars. It seems... I don't know, it seems a little bit odd to me. There's some power-ups there, so yeah, this is very Mario-like. If Mario controlled like shit, man. I just tap the uh, the button and they, they turn pretty sharply. It's a little bit hard to, uh, a little bit hard to control these. Um, anyway, I don't know what the real appeal would be of playing a racing game like this with uh, with the RC cars, because most games like this are done with like licensed characters, like, like Mario Kart or... Uh, the Crash Bandicoot Racing, or, or not that long ago, I played uh, Walt Disney World Tour Racing, and you know all those had pretty iconic characters. Uh, the Disney one had a couple iconic characters and a bunch of characters I didn't recognize. But uh, really, oh, that's lava! I didn't even notice. It's like the same color as the floor. But this doesn't have any characters. It just has these different colored uh, RC cars. And you know, honestly, if you wanted to race with RC cars. You would think, uh, got a power up here, you would think you would, I don't know, get some RC cars and then race them with your friends. Like, this is something, like, obviously you would have a much less, like, complicated track. You wouldn't have power up. So there's a, there's a real car there, a Ranger, a uh, Ford Ranger, I would assume. Um, oh man, I need to get a better jump than that. Uh, here we go, okay. But, like... Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, you, you would have less of a uh, less of a track like this, but honestly, I think that would be more fun. Like, I'm looking at this, and like I said, the, the controls I'm not really digging. Um, obviously, the graphics aren't anything great, but I mean, this is this is 2000, so you don't expect great graphics, even at the time, really. Um, got some lightning here. Didn't seem to do a whole lot. Uh, these power-ups aren't going to do me any good because I'm so far, far behind everybody because I keep driving into walls or lava or things because, I don't know, these, these controls, I, mean, I guess, that's pro they're probably, like, the controls are probably modeled to feel like an RC car. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't play a lot with RCs when I was a kid, but uh, that's 
kind of it, it reminds me of some mini games that had like RC uh, type controls for them, and other games where that weren't like about RC cars. But on um, there I go to Mob again. That one was an accident. They weren't about RC cars, but they also oh shit, come on. They also weren't. Um, yeah, they were more fun than this. Is, I guess what I was trying to say. I don't even remember <laughs> what I was saying. I just died like four times, but. Uh, Jeez, like, okay, it, I don't think it's just me that's like, uh, okay, like, driving to lava is probably just me, like, jeez, oh, I thought I was going to start up on the ramp again, so I packed up, but, um, okay, I got another useless power-up, uh, well, I made it up onto that, uh, that ramp, it didn't actually do me a whole lot of good, okay, I think I'm on my final lap now, uh, go ahead and use my power-up. I have no idea what it's doing. This is little lightning over me. You know, the power-ups are kind of weird, too. Like, I know that this game's modeled after, like, Mario Kart or, or other games like that. I don't know. I, I referenced Mario Kart like it was the first one to do that, but I don't actually know for sure if it was. Uh, but anyway, they, uh, the power-ups are, they, they take me out of the whole idea that I'm, like, playing in, with an IC car. I don't know if that's the intent, <laughs> I, it's it's a more video gamey aspect. Speaking of playing as a, a toy, you gotta wonder where the kids are that are playing with these. Like we appear to be in some kind of like African town, uh, and I don't know how big like remote controlled cars are in Africa or or whichever whichever jungle like country this is meant to be. But uh, I, I assume Africa, but or somewhere in Africa. There's a lot of countries in Africa, and I. I really wouldn't be able to tell them apart with this kind of information, but, uh, they, I don't see any people, is what I'm trying to say, like, there's, there's nobody around here at all, uh, I only see the other cars, and, yeah, okay, I made it to the end, and now it's just kind of auto-moving around, I made it, I made 8th place, but that's, whatever, that's fine with me, let's move on to the next game, uh, yeah, I'm Canary XL, that's my car. So this is Team Buddies, and I have no idea what this game is, but look at these controls. There's, we've got strafing, uh, buddy swapping, order buddies to build, um, order buddies to defend, attack, uh, open crates, uh, jumping. And part of the reason it's so crowded is that these buttons all have multiple uh, uses, depending on the situation. And I have a really bad feeling that I'm not going to actually be able to, to follow this at all. Okay, so we've got some kind of screen here. There's a... like an owl, okay. That's... that's kind of a neat looking owl. Oh, jeez, he's got huge feet. Um, so this is... Uh, like an opening for the game, or is this a, a developer? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. And it's over, okay, I have no idea what that was. I guess it wasn't a developer, or there would have been a name or something. Okay, so here's our menu, uh, single multiplayer, and then like some options stuff. We're doing single. Uh, start a new game. Uh, got some different characters here. I like that some of them are even like looking at the camera like, this was just the antenna. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with these guys since they like, look like they thought the picture was taken and then got up and walked away. I like the little, uh, little canvas on the loading screen. Okay, so we've got Battle Hill uh, VR training, Bow Wow, Kerpow, or Temple Tantrum. So I'm gonna play Bow Wow, Kerpow, probably just this one. I don't think we're gonna play both maps here. Um, I'm not sure what type of game this is, but I don't think I'll want to play them both. Okay, so the enemy buddies have gone too far this time. They've rounded up all the dogs in the park, strapped explosives to them, and brainwashed them to charge at your base. Holy crap, that's dark. Well, like, seriously? Ka Kamikaze dogs. Okay, defend it until... The Bomb Dog Squad arrives to defuse these kamikaze canines. They even call them kamikaze. There's only five. They're only five minutes away. Uh, some tips. It looks like the local wildlife are curious about the noise. Maybe you can get them to help you. So, and we've got some little things down here. I'm not sure what they are or how to interpret them, but I think those are just different elements of the level. Uh, so it sounds like it's like a tower defense type game, maybe. Like some kind of like cartoony uh, Starcraft or something. Uh, yeah, keep keep your base intact until the bombs the bomb dog squad arrives. 
and then wipe the enemy out as a secondary objective. Okay, so with, with these purple guys, um, okay. I'm, I'm holding L2 to tell this guy to build, because I, I don't know how to build. Like, uh, okay, so I can pick these up, and then he broke it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, I pressed triangle and I swapped over to him. And these, uh, these blocks are, like, merging, kind of like in, a the next Tetris, uh, the new Tetris. Let's see, um, so there's like a road over here. I'm just kind of looking around, seeing what all there is. Um, there's some, okay, there's some animal life here. I don't know, I said like there might be some way I can use them, but uh, I don't actually know how to use them. You see there's a timer up there, they, it said the, the bomb dog spot, oh, I think this is one of the bomb dogs. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, and he's got like a timer on him. So I should probably try and get him away before that blows up. Um, yeah, okay, he, he left. <laughs> okay, we've got another another builder here now, so hopefully they'll uh, keep uh, keep building. I'll just worry about getting keeping these dogs away. These poor brainwashed kamikaze dogs. That's that still seems so like unnecessarily dark for a game this like colorful looking. Like this looks like Bomberman, but then we've got um, kamikaze dogs here trying to, uh, trying to, like, get us. And I'm just worried about the dog's safety. Oh, sweet, there's a guy with a tank. <laughs> um, okay. I don't, yeah, I don't know what we're supposed to do with the, um, hold on. There's a, there's a guy attacking. I think that's the enemy buddies, the ones that are brainwashing dogs. So I definitely want to try and shoot those guys, because that's just wrong. Okay. They, they, oh, he's got a bazooka, look at that. Oh, I think I'm accidentally shooting my base. I don't think I want to do that. Um, yeah, we've only got two minutes left, but I feel like we're pretty... Yeah, like, I just died, jeez. Um, oh, man, these uh, these guys have, like, come out of nowhere and just shooting at us with these bazookas. And Oh, man, I'm dead. Okay, I lost. Yeah, so that's that's Team Buddies. I think if I better understood the game, maybe had the booklet, I could probably do a little bit better with it, but as it was, that was just kind of a chaotic mess with the exploding dogs. I don't don't know what to think of that. So this is Busta Groove 2, probably the most successful of the uh, the games on this demo disc. I think most people have heard of the Busta Groove franchise. Uh, it's a, it's one of those rhythm games, a dancing game. I never actually played it, but I am kind of familiar with it. So I don't feel like I'm going in completely blind, uh, thank goodness, because I, uh, would like to do at least uh, passable here. I'm um, going to play a one-player game. We have some characters to select from here. Uh, Heat, Comet, Shorty, and Hero. And you, as you can see, there's some other ones here, some kind of interesting looking characters. I'm not sure who I would play if I had the full roster, but looking at these, I don't like either of the guys. Um, uh, Shorty's kind of cute. I think I'm going to go with her. Little uh, little girl here. I think I'm gonna go with Easy Command just because I haven't played this before. So what I've chosen to do here is uh, I'm actually I already played through this and now I'm recording it separate from playing it instead of doing it live like I normally do. Because I tried doing it live and the way this game is operated, it was just impossible. I ended up just being the whole time complaining like uh, I know I would be doing well at this if I wasn't talking, but. Uh, so I, I did it again, um, and did a lot better. Uh, the first time I, I barely cleared um, 10,000 points uh, the first time, just because the way this is set up is the uh, the song's broken up into groups of four beats, and you can see the little bar there flashing. Um, when I when it gets to the end of that set of four, I have to press the, the buttons that it's showing there. So um, the, way, the way to play it is to keep dragging ahead, one, two, three, four, that way you know when you're supposed to hit it, because um, I, I don't know if you have to hit it at the end. I know the last one you do, but I don't know about the others for sure. But uh, so it's like one, two, three, four uh, with each um, each time, and then uh, it starts out with just one or two. But as you get as you do better and better, it adds more buttons in. Like that one there was a five. I don't actually know what you're supposed to do with a five. It seems it seems impossible the way it's broken up. But anyways, you can as you can see, I'm actually doing not too bad here like uh not not as well as say a, a pro player but um playing against heat here who's uh 
the the default character. I don't know if you who you play against if, if you play as him. I would assume Comet, who's the blue haired waitress character. But uh, anyway, and we're also on the heat stage, so there's like fire and lava everywhere. And then the song it's playing. I don't know if you guys can hear it or how well you can hear it. Is um singing the praises of heat. It's <laughs> saying right now, saying uh, everybody knows that heat is the one. <laughs> um, it says something about burning your whole crew up at one point in the song. But, uh, yeah, it says ain't no stopping the heat. But uh, he's got a he's got like a cowboy hat on the back of him there, which uh, looks a little weird with the rest of his outfit, which isn't very western. Although it is it is kind of interesting when we mess up seeing the characters like stumble around. It, it would almost be more fun to just keep messing up. And I know that there's um, there's a way to do attacks in this. I think it's uh, with R1. I'm not sure when the time to do it is or how you earn them, but uh, I know they're possible because the time I played it the first time, he launched one at me and like a dragon came out of him and bit me. It was like a, a light dragon. But uh, in this one, no battle, no uh, attacks happened, but I did win, and little shorty's really happy about that. So this game is called Muppet Monster Adventure, and I haven't heard of this game, but I, I do have an idea what to expect from it. Probably going to have uh, some of the uh, classic Jim Henson Muppets as, as various monsters. Um, let's see, it's produced by Midway Games here. Uh, and, uh, Jim Henson. Uh, Jim Henson Interactive. Oh, I didn't know that there was a Jim Henson video game company. But I, I guess somebody had to make all the Muppet games. Though when I think about it, I don't actually know how many Muppet games there were. But as you can see, we've got, like, Kermit the Frog as Frankenstein and... Uh, Miss Piggy is uh, Frankenstein's Bride. We've got two different levels here, Peacock, Purgatory, and the Muck Monster Slime It. Uh, so let's go ahead and play Peacock. I think Muck Monster Slime It sounds like a boss level, so we'll probably do both of these. Little uh, little loading screen here. I didn't actually look at the controls, so I hope we don't have too much trouble. It looks like... I was about to say it looks like we're Kermit, but actually I don't think we are. It looks like we're Robin, the, like, the obnoxious little kid frog. Um... Yeah, and okay, there's little stars here to collect. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of like a free roaming type game. Um, let's see. Uh, can I? Okay, I have like a laser here. Can, okay, I can just like. I have, for some reason, I have a laser, and I can blow these. Uh, whatever that was. Uh, they look kind of like a like a the helmet on a suit of armor, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Um, and there's like these uh, these green stock things here. Can I like do anything? <laughs> Uh, and maybe it's just because I've been playing Crash Bandicoot, but that's that's exactly what that makes me think of there with that spin. I'm assuming this is an attack, and it makes me think of Crash. Uh, okay, so when I walk up here, Fozzie the Bear shows up on the uh, in the corner. I think it said, okay, yeah, triangle to a morph. It said so I can like um, climb those by turning to Fozzie. But I guess there's a werewolf in this. Um, and I notice when I jump, Gonzo's available. Okay, Gonzo's like a bat. All right. That's uh, that's interesting the way they have it set up like that. Um, I wonder why they're associated with the different characters. Though, if it's Robin that's doing them, I, I don't know. It's it's a weird setup for a game. The the whole monster theme in general. Although it does make me wish I had played this a little bit closer to Halloween, but Halloween's passed by now. Um, okay, we got uh, this guy here, Pepe. Pepe would be on the air to help you rescue Kermin. Kermin. The rest of our friends. When you see my receiver. Come up and hear what I have to say. Don't be shy, okay? <laughs> oh, did he have to say that so creepy? It's like, I don't want to come talk to him with that pedophilic, like, uh, don't be shy <laughs> type thing. Uh, yeah, well, that was weird. I don't know why they would have him say it that creepily. Um, some kind of peacock thing. I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot that. I guess not. It just runs away from me. Uh, got to I'll well, these stars around here. I don't see a whole lot else to do. Um, there's some other flags, and when I get close to the flags, yeah, they turn into Pepe. So, he'll probably tell me what to do. Let me get a couple more of these stars. I don't know, I don't know what they're good for, but, uh, I'll probably, probably need them. Um, some chests here. Uh, what do you, what do you have to say, Pepe? This is like Halloween. Trick or treat, okay? <laughs> yeah. The pumpkin container is filled with evil energy you can collect. Evil energy? Shoot it. Am I evil? Is Robin evil? Yeah, I already... Sh he's just telling me I shoot that. And then... I'm not even going to talk to him. Let me guess. Uh, shooting... Yeah, shooting doesn't work. This is... 
Okay, I, I know I compared it to Crash Bandicoot earlier, but like this is this gameplay is really reminding me of Spyro the Dragon. Uh, and that's just I don't know. Spyro is just the game I think of when I think of this type of game. But like the the dynamics here. Okay, and so this one has to be lasered. Yeah. Uh, the only difference is that there's not doesn't seem to be any enemies. Can I like glide over here. Yeah, nice. Oh, but then I fell off. Oh well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, even the gliding actually acts like uh, when you glide in Spyro. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's... Oh, bad guy. Okay, there are some bad guys. Like, some kind of, <laughs> like, gardener that came at me with this. This is a hedge, uh, hedge trimmers. And you got these, these huge sunflowers. There's gotta be something you do with those. Uh, it's like you can climb them when you're a werewolf. And they have, like, these faces at the top, which is kind of weird. But, um, let's see. Uh, there's another Pepe over here. Uh, Maybe he'll tell me what to do with these peacocks or something. Let's see. What you what you got to say, Pepe? Here comes the sun. Oh, he's just singing while the, the words tell me what to do. <laughs> he sings Here Comes the Sunflowers. So this is, yeah. Uh, use the werebear power to get all the sunflowers before time runs out. You'll get a bright shiny Muppet token. Uh, press X to play or triangle. Okay, so let me go ahead and try this out here. I know that there's one right here, right? Uh, climb it. Okay. So I can, uh, climb this and I'll just glide over here to this one. And I can climb this one up here, right? Come on. You have to be facing it just right, which is a little bit frustrating because it looks like we don't actually have that much time. Uh, I was really hoping I could just, uh, glide from that one over to this one. That, uh, oh man. Yeah, I messed it up. Oh well. Uh, yeah, there's, I don't think there's going to be any time now because I think the other two are back, way back at the start of the level. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Um, oh well. I uh, actually, now that I think about it, I think I have a better game plan uh, for these that uh, will probably work better than that. So I'm gonna try this one more time if this fails. And it looks like it will, because I've only got like 10 seconds left. And even though I can like glide over here to this one, uh, sort of. Yeah, it's counting down here. Come on, get up there. Two, one. Oh, okay, I just barely got it in time. Yeah. So, uh, give me my token. See, good work, Robin. You earned this Muppet token, okay? Yeah. So, okay, and then I get, like, this little thing here. That's cool. Um, what I was gonna say is, I think there would probably... Yeah, if I went from the one I started on and then went to this one on the, the right over here, and then went to the one over there on the left and then glided over back across this bridge here, and I, I noticed there was a couple things I missed over here, I'm gonna grab them. I think you probably could actually knock this out and have quite a bit of time left over if you um, if you glide as soon as you jump off them every time, which it, I tried to do, so that seemed like the right approach to me, but it didn't uh, it didn't work out just because I, I pressed the button at the wrong time. But uh, anyway, uh, we've got a, a whole other area over here, looks like there's some uh, more gems. I don't know what these peacocks are here for, what they do. Uh, I also don't notice any kind of health bar or anything, though it may just be because I haven't been damaged, but anyway, uh, can I, come on, I, uh, there we go, alright, <laughs> just having trouble hitting it. So we've got like, uh, some water over here, uh, and there's probably, I saw Pepe over here, he'll probably tell me how to, uh, how to swim or something like that, but, um, the water looks nice, no? yeah. Fresca. <laughs> you should jump in and swim around, okay? Okay, I'll jump in and swim around. Uh, okay, and then when I jump in, it's, uh... He's one of the band members, right? I think... Uh, I, I know that face up there. It's his name. Clifford? Yeah, and for some reason, Clifford is a, uh... Like a creature from the Black Lagoon, looks like. <laughs> um, okay, that's interesting. I don't know why a frog would need to turn into a creature from the Black Lagoon in order to, uh... In order to swim? I mean, I'm a, I'm a motherfucking frog, but whatever, I'm, I don't seem to have any kind of, like, drowning bar or anything, so I guess I could probably stay down here indefinitely. I imagine I probably have a different attack while I'm swimming, let's see. Yeah, it's like a ram attack. Man, this is so, like, Spyro. <laughs> like, even the, the swimming and... Oh, uh, that's, it's weird to me that it, that it is this, like, this much like Spyro, and I'm assuming there were probably a lot of games like this at the time, but... Spyro is the one I played a lot. Even on this channel, I've played a lot. I've had two demos of it already, but that's that's what it's reminding me of with the the way it's playing out. I don't know if uh, all the all the ones will be like this, but yeah, it's weird. 
got uh, some more stars here. And I noticed that, yeah, there's like an island over here, so I think I'll go ahead and um, see what's uh, what's up over here. We've got a little place we can get out here. Get uh, another one of those bonus things. I don't know what they're good for, but I like the word bonus. I like collecting things that are bonuses. So, I will. And another Pepe over here, I wonder what he has to say. Um, come on, Pepe. Talk to me. Rescue Clifford, okay? Once you do, it is Clifford. come back here, and you'll be able to swim deep. Swim fast, okay? Okay, like so I guess, um, if I don't transform, can I not dive? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the only way to dive is to turn into the Clifford. Um, which I, I kind of guessed as much, but I guess, um, you only, un you only can unlock these powers in the full game, not in the demo, but in the full game, you unlock these powers by rescuing the, uh, the characters. So like on the on the loading screen we saw some of the famous Muppets is uh, like mixed with famous monsters and then it seems like Gonzo's uh I said a bat earlier, but like he's a vampire. And then uh Clifford is a creature from the Black Lagoon, which Clifford seems like an odd choice for a character anyway to use. Um got a Pepe over here. With the special climbing skills of the Waka Waka Werebear, you can reach the roof. <laughs> Sounds mysterious now. No, I guess not really. Okay, so I can, uh, I said I can climb up here. I guess there's probably something to climb. Um, can I climb? Uh, I don't see where the climbing things are, but I've got a whole little area over here that we haven't explored yet, so I, uh, okay, and it looks like I could glide all the way over there, but, um, yeah. Let's see, uh, let's see what's over here. Got some other things. Um, looks like we could get on top of the bridge over here, yeah. I wish I could run a little bit faster, but I don't see any, um, there doesn't seem to be any button that makes me run. Just too bad. Oh, when I press this, it brings up all the stats. So yeah, you can see there are three, uh, different morphs or transformations I can use up there. Um, there's some other things to collect here. Another, uh, another Pepe. Everybody ready? Okay. On your mark, get set, go, 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 go! Um, race? Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna lose this. I'm not good at racing. Especially when I'm- look how slow I am. Is there- Like, I go- I think I go a little bit fast when I spin. Maybe that's just the way to do is just spin like crazy. But, uh, still not doing particularly good here. Like, he's so much faster than me. Like, I don't know. I'm not even positive the spins are helping me any, but I, I don't know any other way to go faster. Like, I can jump and... Yeah, now this... <sighs> well, oh well. Yeah, look, look how far ahead he... I, I definitely was doing better when I was spinning, but it's still not... Like, it's hard to control, so... It does it kind of balances out, so I'm still far behind him. There's got to be a better, a better way to do this than what I'm doing. Um, maybe cutting corners or something, but... Uh, I don't know how far this track goes. I don't know. It seems like we're going through the whole map here, though, which is interesting. No. I'm getting pretty close to now. Yeah, the spinning's definitely- oh crap. Oh crap. Well, I thought I might be able to catch up to him, but then I missed those signposts and I'm way back here and there's no way in hell I'm catching up. I don't care how much longer this track is, and there's the end of it there. Yeah, I didn't even make it through the second to last flags, but... Oh. oh, this is sad. You should have beaten him, Robin. Next time you will, okay? Yeah, I'm not going to uh, to race him again. Though. I don't think I don't think I really have a whole lot to gain by doing that. But and that's another one of the things you can do here. So if you are uh, curious about that, there should be a way to charge or something like. There's got to be a better way than just spinning like this. Like, look at this. I don't know. I guess if you have like a good rhythm to it, you can do it without like missing too many beats. But um, can I? There's a button here. Huh. I was hoping just standing on the button. Here, tell me what to do, Pepe. Uh. Yeah, okay. I, I figured out it was a switch, but, um. There's sh switches you can shoot later on, so practice your aim. Yeah, but I just want to, like, jump on it. I, I, like, glided away from it, but. It doesn't, um. Oh, there it goes. Why wasn't it doing it before? I was jumping on it. That's weird. 
I haven't mentioned it yet, but I kind of like this background music. It's got kind of a, like, what you would expect a Muppet -y Halloween type thing to have. Uh, feels feels kind of fun, but also a little bit, like, spooky, I guess. Um, oh yeah, this is one of... Or maybe not. How do I... It looks like I can't spin it open. Um, I can't shoot it open. Uh, and those are the only attacks I have. Oh well, uh, I guess I'll just leave it. Um, oh, I was going to get those other stars though, since I'm up here. Don't want to, don't want to fall off there. Okay, it's really a troublesome that I can't seem to get it. I'm wondering, I'm what I'm thinking is if I'm get it spinning and then shoot it, but I don't seem to be able to do that either. Yeah, those are like my only options, but oh well. Um, yeah, it looks like in Spyro, there's lots of places you can go uh, to get different things. Um, oh, okay, there's my health thing. Uh, but, yeah. I wonder if that Garden is even a bad guy. I mentioned before I'm using evil energy, so maybe he's not. Maybe I'm the bad guy. He just looks like he's doing his job. And then I, then I shot him to death with my laser gun that I have for some reason, even though I'm a tiny baby frog. Um, let's see, what is this? Is this like a warp thing? Oh, oh, it like makes me jump up in the air. That's interesting. Uh, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, it's, it takes it a long time to activate for some reason, but anyway, I got up here. Um, so there's more things to get up here. But, uh, yeah. So far this game isn't very, uh, I don't know, it's not very fun. <laughs> like, uh, so I'm just like walking around collecting things, and that's fine, but like this is actually I'm, I've been comparing it to Spyro, but it might be more fair based on the gameplay so far to uh, compare it to uh, like the Emperor's New Groove When I played uh, an episode or two ago Because I'm just like I guess there are at least some bad guys here, like whatever that guy was and He didn't look like the gardener from before, but like so there's some a handful of uh, villains here or there but really, I'm just running around collecting shit uh, that I don't need. <laughs> like, I'm sure this stuff would be useful in the main game. For, like, accruing points and stuff. But as far as this demo goes, it's useless to me. So, uh, there's a castle over here. I'm going to explore it. And just kind of leave all these gems lying around. Because I don't think I'll need them. I don't, th I don't think they do anything useful. But, uh... Yeah, let's just... Yeah, there's, there's something inside the castle here, so I'm just gonna go see what's over here. Uh, there's a chest. It's, yeah, but this is more gems in it. Okay. And then... Okay, what is this thing, Pepe? It's a tel... Okay, this is a teleporter, okay. I thought, um... I figured there was something like this in this game. I thought the, the spinning thing before was a teleporter bit. Yeah, okay. So now I'm out. Uh, is it gonna take me somewhere, or is that the, the whole... That's the whole level, okay. So let's try out the Muck Monster Slime it and see what the deal is with this. Uh, if it is a boss battle or, or what it is. Um. Oh yeah, this looks like a boss battle. Yeah, and actually, is that um, is that Clifford? Yeah. Okay. So that's the guy that I was kind of channeling before when I uh, when I was swimming. So it looks like he's just blowing these up. Uh. I don't think, yeah, I definitely can't get to him now. I don't think I'm supposed to jump over to him and hit him or anything. This isn't like, uh, like fighting, uh, Entropy in Crash Bandicoot or anything. But, okay, now that, oh, oh, crap, I, I forgot to watch the smoke things. Alright, well, I've got a couple lives, so I'm gonna try it again. I feel like, uh, I was pretty safe just standing on that one block, so I think I'm just gonna go stand on that again. Um, it looks like it shoots out like one of each of those smoke things, but then it's going to shoot out more when they come back up. Anyway, I noticed that one of the little uh, pods that came back up when he uh, when he brought them back was like a, an, a, an electricity thing or like a blinking light thing. I don't know. He's got those like um, oh, what are those called? Oh crap! I got a uh, hit again. But anyway, yeah. Here, oh, oh, damn it! <laughs> I was too slow. I need to watch out for the smoke. That's the thing that gets me, is when it comes back, I forget about it. Uh, another weird thing I've noticed uh, playing here is that uh, he's not making any noises. Like, 
He's up there, but he's not making any noises. The exploding things are making any noises. The uh, the only noise is that background song, which is the same song uh, from the other level. I, I hope they fix that in the like final version. Another weird thing is that his face in the corner is green when he's clearly pink. But, uh, anyway. Can I... Okay, I landed on... Alright, yeah, and then they shock him. That's kind of what I, I expected. Let's just... Oh yeah, there's a box of TNT in front of him, but that's what he's throwing at me. So, okay, now we gotta do it again. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, we're back again to the, like, Crash Bandicoot comparisons, because this is... This feels like a Crash Bandicoot boss, so like something you would have in a Crash Bandicoot boss. Oh crap. I hope he doesn't blow this one up. Crap. He did. Yeah. But, uh, if I could find out which one he doesn't blow up on that second one, this would be easy. Because, like, I just happened across that one on the far right, but it seems like he never blows it up the first time. Oh, he... Ah, the smoke got me. Oh, well. That's that. So this is Sydney 2000, uh, like I said before, based off the uh, 2000 Olympic Games, which were held in Sydney, Australia. I have a lot of questions going into this game. Like, uh, I don't know if they do this regularly, or, like, if every Olympics game has a, uh, has its own game, so to speak. Uh, or, like, how authentic the athletes are as to, like, like, there's an, uh, uh, a swimmer there from Japan, uh, a jumper there from, I'm not, I don't recognize the, the flag is, is Unitard's based off of, but, anyway, like, I, I wonder if these are based off the actual athletes that competed in the, uh, 2000 games, or, I also wonder if I'll be able to choose my country, I hope so. Now, the oh, we're doing the 110 meters hurdle. Meters hurdle. Oh man, I'm already having flashbacks to, like, Quap. <laughs> Uh, if you guys know what that is. Okay, so yeah, there's like the USA athlete, South Africa, um, Italy. Yeah. I, I hope I get to choose from these guys. I don't know, I don't know what country I will choose though. Um, Australia, I, that was the guy from before, right? So that's, that's the guy I didn't recognize. And then China, and finally Spain. And finally Spain. Yeah. So, uh, there's a little light over, um, Ooh, I already forgot who that was, but um. Last year, okay. we're going to be in for a good race here. <laughs> uh, so this is gonna be this is gonna be weird for me. These, these announcer guys are talking. I'm trying to listen to them, but can I just run? I just want to run. Okay. Uh. Haha! <laughs> there we go. They didn't all go. I I ran before the the gun, didn't I? That's great. I can do that. <laughs> it, what's also great is that like three of them followed me. Like, Italy and so America and one other, again, like, just followed after me. I need to wait for the actual gun to sound. Okay, here we go. And I got a late start because, fuck it. And then, like, I'm trying to jump over these, but it's not, like, responding. What if I don't... If I don't press anything, it's doing the same thing as if I do press stuff. Am I not pressing it fast enough? Okay. Yeah. And somebody just set a record, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, America set the world record. I, I wonder if that actually happened. But, I, I like, I have no idea. Uh, but, well, yeah, USA won at 1330. Look at me down there. Aust oh, Austra Australia is, I guess, who I was uh, at 17.73 seconds. I have no idea how what I was supposed to do there. Like, I couldn't seem to do anything to myself run faster or to jump. It was like a replay here, but we don't need to see that. Now um, oh, and it's doing it again. I don't want to play again. Can I quit? Yeah, I'll see you guys at the next game. So this is Snowcross Championship Racing. Oddly enough, the second uh, snowmobile racing game I've played in as many weeks. The other, of course, being uh, Sledstorm from, I think, the last video. I think, yeah, I think the last episode was when I played that. It's also interesting here, Snow Cross is spelled without a W, I, I guess to make it more extreme. Got uh, got some different uh, controls here, though we already really saw the controls. Um, and I'm guessing they're like most racing games, so I'm not too worried about this. Race Racing games are pretty homogenous in terms of their, uh, their control layout. Very rarely do you find games where you press like square to accelerate or something. So... Uh, oh, and starting out in first person, that's odd. Like, uh, like when we played, uh, what was it, uh, Garrett, or Jarrett and Levant stock car racing? I'm not doing too hot here off the start, but when we played that, uh, I went into, uh, first person mode just because I thought it'd be funny, but, uh, 
this is a little bit nauseating here, the way <laughs> this is. Uh, this is probably a way to change them out. Yeah, okay, triangle changes them, though. It, uh, takes away from my concentration on my intense racing when I do that. So, yeah. Uh, the controls here are a little bit, a little bit more sensitive than I like. Like, I'm, I'm hitting walls way easier than I feel like it should be, but it's still better than RC racing, uh, which we played earlier today, so... That's, uh, that's something that's got going in its favor, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, I think I actually like Sledstorm better, like, I didn't do too hot at that, but it felt, like, this is a little, I don't know, I feel like I'm going really slow, you know? Which is, the like, the last thing I want to feel when I'm playing a racing game. Uh, even if I'm in dead last, I still want to feel like I'm going fast. And I, to be honest, like, I'm going as fast as I think I can. Like, there don't, aren't any, like, boosts or anything. This isn't, this isn't RC racing. I'm not going to pick up a battery and go faster. Or, or, like, a star or something. Um, and I'm just, I'm holding down X to accelerate. But, except it turns, obviously. But it's, I'm still only going, like, half the speed on this meter thing. So I guess it's possible to go a lot faster. But I, I'm, don't know how. I can't even, like, imagine how, but... Oh man, look at me hitting these walls. I just passed this guy, too. I like to not get last. Um, that's that's kind of my goal any the first time I play any racing game, is don't get last. <laughs> you know, like, if, uh, if it's a game I like, then uh, I play it a lot, get used to the, uh, the way it handles, and then, then I start trying to get, like, first. But it's a little bit um, ambitious uh, for, for a guy who really isn't very good at racing games in general. Uh, it's a little bit amb ambitious for me to try and get first my first time out. Uh, especially, like, look at how I'm hitting these walls. That's not that's not all the game. A good portion of that's me. <laughs> but, yeah, so my, my goal is just to beat this one guy that I can see here. And, uh, I can't even seem to do that by the looks of things. Like, uh, I might be able to pull ahead of him at the very end here, but no, no, I'm hitting these walls. Now it's, there's no way. But, uh, oh well. It would have been nice if I could have beaten him at least. I finished last. It's kind of nice of them all to wait at the end for me. I was always under the impression from other racing games that when you get to the end of a race you just keep going until everybody else uh, gets there too, but they they all stop there. I see now they're going to. Yeah. That's it for this game and uh, for the, the demo disc, so I'll, I'll see you all next time. Bye.